My name is Cesar Diaz and I'm the director of photography in Black Rose. So everything starts with the email the, the director sent us to us so we can read the script. He sent us that this is going to be the new project, read it and let's get together and talk about it. And if we like it, we're going to start making the movie, talking about details, details. So yeah, that's how the movie kind of start as a baby steps after that we start getting meetings talking about it but the way we found about black rose is by an email hey guys here's the new thing after we read the script like i say we're gonna get together uh, we're gonna well what happened with me after reading the script is reading again i read it like twice so i can understand what's the what's the movie really about it because there's like two, three different meanings on every script. So I read it a couple of times so I can know exactly where I want to go. And what I'm reading, reading the second time is when I start imagining how it comes something funny because it's for me becomes the imagine of how Joseph would want to have some ideas. Like say, oh, he's gonna want this and this movie, I don't know if he's gonna like for this. So I, I'm getting the frame already of what he wants to to be doing on the movie well it was it was different because it's the first time we have a different writer uh, and try try to do his idea instead of the director's this is the tricky part uh, working with him was good because he was on the script uh, but he didn't change too much during the recording session uh, he tries to give us something what is the movie about uh, he explained us a lot during the meetings what I was talking about, but uh, it was it was good working with him. It was like I said something different because with the other ones I know exactly what the director he's trying to do, but on this one uh, we're trying to figure out what he wants to do. And even though he didn't talk too much about it, he told the important things so we can start trying to project what he was to transmit to the people. So Black Rose, the hard part about casting is, well, the first one, I was not there, so that was hard for me. But uh, while we were watching the videos, there was a, a lot of potential, uh, I was going to say workers, but no, I'm not a worker, right? Potential actresses and people who can portray the papers of the characters they were trying. And it was hard because there was like three, four different uh, characters. They, we have like three people in mind for that. And it took us a long time to do the final decision on who was the perfect fit. Because we have, on especially there's two, uh, what's that? two characters. The, we had a one person specific but uh, at the end we finished getting the other person because i don't know something tell us especially the director he's the one who say let's try this say no well i'm gonna say we were four people that work with one person and there was two with the other one and on this one we were wrong the four people were wrong and thank god we did that final decision the first thing i do when i get to set is looking for the director so so he can give me the tools now but it's start to get in the cameras ready uh, we know what scene we're going to be recording so it's try to get the lenses and the camera ready to know exactly uh, what's going to be next like for example if i'm not mistaken the first day of set the first thing we start doing is what the director loves and it was the long takes so i know i have to get ready with the with the cameras and the lenses to get ready for that. Long takes is different because you have to dance with the actors too. Because steady stakes, you can put it on the tripod and just move the camera down, up or down, or maybe side to side. But with the long takes is having on the tripod, start walking with them, do the little dance. The director told the actresses where to dance and then I'm learning also where to dance so I can tell them where to dance. Sounds kind of tricky now that I say it like that. 
but it's it's more fun i like it because you're moving with them and you're not just standing watching the camera well this is the third film that we tried the black magics so we continue with that now we try different lenses uh, we tried the i think it's called makey uh, cinematic lenses has something more words but i don't remember and that was the first time we tried with all the lenses that we had because before that we tried in it war but we only have a few lenses and there was mixed with two different uh, marks two different styles but when we decided to just keep it with makey and that was something they it was really good because it helped us a lot for different shots and different scenes because before with the other lenses we have it was just some variety some types of just look at this and yeah but the most difficult scene was the bathtub because we we're having the crane and the crane is one of our more difficult equipment that we got it's so hard to put so very difficult to use and we have to try it different times and it was on a small little place because it's a, a bathroom so it's not too big we use it before on the outside so there was no problem and we try on one room that it was a little bit bigger but this one with a, a restroom just close and it was not that high so the cranes to have the shot that we want it was almost hitting the ceiling and that was another fear that we got also just making sure the camera was really set up and doesn't fall on the water so there was a lot of things going on around and that's why it was not the most difficult scene to record in the with the equipment oh, the crane how to explain it it's really difficult because it's like a a tow truck the old ones, the ones that you have to pull everything up so the things to move it up other difficult thing about the crane is that you're not seeing the camera directly you're seeing the monitor because the camera is going to be like 10 feet maybe or 5 feet depends the scene so we're not looking at the camera we're looking at the monitor and then that's another thing I'm very used to, to just look the little screen you can see it better with the monitor yeah it's bigger has the same thing but it's not the same thing I don't know how to explain it maybe people who knows about cameras can understand but that's why we don't use it too much and also it's like like a robot doing whatever it wants because if you wanted to go up and everything is going up and one thing on the top just didn't screw really good it's gonna instead of going up it's going down or sidewalks and yeah no it's it's difficult for me every day is the same thing I joke around or play around and little secret the first scene that we record was the uh, the hallway on the school and you're gonna see the different you know, that is seen with the other ones uh, you're gonna see it a little bit shaky because we were not used to it was after months of the last recording so it was nervously because the body was not used to and then that's a little secret so if you put really attention you're gonna see that scene over there on the rest everything is good but just try to have fun for me I always joking I look serious for the people who knows me or who start to get to know me I'm always shy silent but as soon as the barrier breaks I'm a jokester so I try to I always do uh, silly things so I don't see the other work so and then I always tell them the only thing I do is just press a red button you guys do the rest so just trying to have fun even though they're really serious scenes it's just to uh, after the scenes just relax a little bit so you don't get too nervous because if you think too much about it it's not gonna come out the favorite thing for me to do while we're recording is the the recording session <laughs> it's, it's gonna sound so silly but yeah it's being on the camera after 
we set up after I have everything after they prepare it's just playing with the camera uh, I know I'm recording I know what is gonna come I want you to believe it that what is what is we're recording there was a saying in Spanish or some saying that I got that it say tienes que creértela para crearlo so you have to believe it so that other people can believe it so if you're recording and you don't believe what they doing it that means that the other people will be, be watching this they're not gonna believe it so for me the most exciting is being over there try to believe it and then also the director is the one who's there uh, we take like 20 different recordings of the same scenes i bet he has a lot of uh, bloopers over there but that's the best part just recording and believe it because i'm seeing the movie in the moment it's created so for me that's the best part so like i said before when we were reading the script i already know how the director thinks so i already know what he wants but when we're on the set he's gonna be saying oh i want this i want this and i say you know what i'm doing what he say i like it but let's try the other one so uh, he's saying that for all the people who's been working with us he's saying i like it but just try let's try another one same thing with the thing i tell him i like that but let's try the other idea to see if that one is good and 95 percent of the time i'm right even though he don't like to say it but yeah no i think it's working with him so long uh, that make us that make me know what he wants and how to make him uh, have the idea that I want without him knowing that this is my idea. So, yeah, for me, it's been with the director so long that I cannot explain. It's like a chemistry between both. Well, that day was crazy, not only because the scene, not only because what we were working, but some personal thing was going on. So, uh, like I say, you see me serious, but you don't know what's happening with me. So for me, I've been like this for all my life. So I'm going to say the other person, nah, it was so simple because I do it every time, but that's making it so short and we want to do this video longer. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but no, it's like trying to focus on one time at a time. So we're doing the movie. We believe it. We're sad. We stop recording. You know what? Let's have fun. Let's do some silly joke so we can break the tension that is over there because uh, it's a serious team serious uh, topic to talk about it so it was hard because we have people there was not from the crew and not actors on the set and they were crying yeah to do the set see this is i said even though it's not uh, it is fun to create a set because like I say, it's based on what the script would say. We try to find the place where well, we have the location. Uh, we work what is already on the location, so we move it. And there's a lot of scenes that we move a lot of stuff. Uh, the school area, we move like four different sets on the same place. And everything looks so different that you wouldn't think it's the same place but uh, yeah it's really fun having the idea uh, the little easter eggs that we put on every single things that you have to watch it like two three times and say why was that oh that's why we get so it is fun having little details again that works everything go and watch reverse so you can understand the details but uh, yeah it is fun so that day for me is like happy and sad at the same time because now that we finish recording is when the second part of post-production that's what it's called they start going on so i know it's almost getting there but it's happy because it's gonna be like not the last time that we're gonna see all the persons over there but some people feel like that like like there's some Roller coaster emotions between the actors and the crew, even though the crew we 
get together along a long time let's say but yeah yeah it's like let's say i want to say it's like really fun being with her be the last time that you're gonna see him working technically because it's a work even though it's not a work so it's fun but like i say it's happy because we know the next step so we've been there doing this for a long time so we know the sometimes the best part is after recording well we found out because uh, last time we did the lecture we have the, also the premiere on the big screen but it was like a it was during pandemic so it was something like really fast and i feel like something was missing so when this one that we find out, we were looking around to see where we can do the premiere because normally it was on the director's house or, or my house in the backyards having like a barbecue. But this one we tried to do it. We feel it. It was like a really, it's going to sound weird, but like a real movie that you're going to see in the theaters. So we thought that this one needs to be treated like that. So we look for a place, we look for a theater uh, that can show the movie. We also look for the theater that can let us have a red carpet. So uh, when we finally find out, find out that it was going to be in a theater, uh, it was like exciting. Like we went, I was with the director and we went behind a theater and see how they project the movies that's something really good to to find out but it was exciting it was like we already have it one premiere on the big screen but I don't there was something different on this one they make us little nervous little happy say excited it's the world <sighs> well the premiere like I say was different because in part I was also part of it so I came a little bit early, not as early as other people, but going inside and then seeing the managers and everything and tell them what to do and how to do it, that feels something that you can only think really high, powerful people can do it. I have the theory doing whatever I want to. Sounds really bad, but it was exciting. But when we arrived, there was already the actresses and actors well dressed uh, it was like nervous very nervous nervous working i don't know that works so uh, but yeah it was something i cannot explain because the actors were coming uh, the red carpet was there there was media over there there was people doing interviews like it feels so so surreal that's the word it feels so surreal and then while I was walking around, going with my family, going with the actors, uh, looking for the director, tell him to calm down, even though we were both nervous. Don't tell him that I was too, but I was trying to calm him down. But uh, hearing the people there was in the theater just to watch other movies, I think was the Fast and Furious movie, same thing. It was one big blockbuster movie at the same time. But I hear them then uh, talking about, oh, who they are, oh, those two there on that poster, oh, people from the movie, like, so, that feels so exciting, so real there. The, yeah, I cannot explain it. It was fun. And then during the premiere, during the show over there, it was so exciting hearing the people react to the, to the movie. I hear people react to big movies. I remember 100% the Infinity War or the Endgame, one of those that people were like really screaming and everything. But hearing kind of the same reactions to the movie that we make, like feels so surreal. And then with the hard part of the movie comes, looking around, I see my parents crying. I see a lot of people, that, there, was, there was a lot of people crying like, damn, it feels so surreal. But uh, exciting. Wow. After that is going out, then let's pick up everything and let's go. Let's go party. <laughs> no, yeah, talking with the, the actors, talking with the people there, it was like uh, 
saying hi to everybody like it was like we're treating like a very famous people so if they think we are i believe it like i say you have to believe it to make it so yeah after that is just talking with a well with the people over there people were leaving talking with the actors that were leaving and then i was with my family going home and it was like they were a you could say they were proud and i was like i feel the emotions that they were feeling and yeah it was something surreal talking about the movie talking about that like uh, until this time i cannot believe it was us who who they were watching and looking around thank you so yes it's an amazon prime so you go and watch it uh, it took a long time we were looking all our options where to have it even there the high executive people from a uh, wolf were getting so desperate that they were so close to put it on youtube but uh, like I was telling them, you know what, let's just wait one more week. Let's wait and see. Hopefully, because there was a lot of people asking when it's going to come out, where we can watch it. And it was like the first time that we make a movie and it was not right away to show to everyone. So when we received that text, they, oh, it's an Amazon Prime. It was like, I went to the TV, turn it on and i cannot believe it like say damn that's us like it's still a dream like uh, yeah i don't know i can explain it i cannot say it uh, i cannot shout how make us i think not only us but everyone who work on it uh, uh, especially that like i said the director we've been with this so long doing this for a long time and yeah it's something i think he cannot believe it neither even though he said yes but he's still in shock i believe it <laughs> well right now while i'm waiting for that uh, as you can see in the back i'm a bass player i'm with my band uh, having some gigs here and there just trying to uh, get busy work like everyone here working on a regular job uh, just waiting uh, doing these interviews I've been in more interviews in my life with this movie than I did back then even though I was in a few back years ago when I was in mariachi back on El Paso I was in a few but it was just for the news little fast but this one going to podcast going to right here my second interview with you guys right here on the channel see my first one but yeah, uh, I'm just keeping busy. I'm, I'm thinking on doing some podcasts with my wife. We're trying to do something interesting. We're still working on it. Uh, playing with the band and just keeping time with my wife. Going out of the city here and then and just relaxing. Because I know when the second movie or the next movie, what's it, the next movie is coming out, if everything is goes as planned, is the same one that we have the script, it's gonna be a really hard work doing that one. Cause it's gonna be, this one is not as long as the next one and hopefully this one is gonna, the next one is gonna be better. So I'm just relaxing right now cause I know when that time come, it's gonna be another working hard day on set. <laughs> so thank you for listening to my words maybe you didn't understand thank you for staying here this long if you stay congratulations you make it you're a good person uh, you can follow me on instagram my instagram is say c a d b h p you're gonna put it over here i think oh no that's youtube that's the other part but yeah uh, c a d b h p it's my initials of my full name plus HP of Harry Potter. As you can see on Raven Claw. So, and also you can follow my band Instagram, Signos LB, Signos C Y. I don't know how to say. So long, it's gonna be here. How do you spell it? C Y G N O S. It's right there on the back. You cannot see it, but it's over there. 
LB and Instagram. So I know the editor from this is going to put the Instagrams on the bottom and on the things, everything they do on YouTube or whatever it, this one is going. <laughs> but yeah, you can follow me there. I post everything related with a wolf, with my bands, with my personal life. My Instagram is public for everyone, so you can contact me, hate me, or do whatever you want on Instagram. So, see you there. <laughs>